I'm going to speak of an analogy today. And the analogy is of an old bungalow, um, you know, sprawling, very ancient, um, got acres and acres of farm, it's got big water bodies, um, and it has been lived by many people, generations together. And I'm talking about the earth as our very old ancestral bungalow. Yeah? Very old ancestral property that belongs to each of us. It has been lived by many centuries of people, many generations of people, um, very long back, even before we could even remember. Okay? And, there, and this is the ancestral home that we've all come to be born into. And you look at how the air is, the water is, the land is, okay? Um, how the house is maintained, how the goings on is maintained. It's like uh, the people of this uh, old uh, ancestral home, says all have gone to all foreign countries, eh? and the old houses, uh, like there, okay, uh, somebody uh, waiting for somebody to come and clean the water, or somebody to come and take care of the air, uh, uh, how to take care of how the land is and how things are maintained and about the family being together and all of that. It's like, you know, somebody's work. So, I was just wondering how much are we actually connected to Earth um, as our our own family um, property handed down to us from by our ancestors and which is our responsibility to now hand over to future generations and in very good condition because it is a responsibility. And how we are sort of seem to be going about it is, uh, is somebody else's business. Yeah? Um, I think it all comes back to how connected, how, how much do we remember our own family, family lineage from where we came, you know? Um, where our parents came, our grandparents came, our, uh, where did their relatives come from, yeah? Where is the root of life? How deep does the root of life go? It's, it's, it's one big tree, one big tree of human being, one big tree of life. And if we just begin to examine, to ask around our own ancestors, our own family members, and where, where, did our, where, did the, where did our family come from? You know, who are our ancestors? We may be able to discover some very startling um, observations on where our life, on, on where our, our genes came from. Just the history of India itself. I'm speaking from India. Now I could be from any country. And in any country, no matter where we are, we all have genetic material. And if you just begin to inquire into where our genetic material have come from, you may be, you may be quite surprised on where, on how intricate has been our histories from where there has been colonizations, there has been invasions, there has been um, cross-cultural um, marriages, yeah, and, and families that have come from there. It would be surprising to discover, to note what you would discover through this inquiry. And one of the things that possibly could be on how we actually may be one big family enjoying our residence, our home, in a pretty ancient ancestral hometown. And in light of this, maybe when you look at your own neighbors, your own family members, your friends, your enemies, um, whom you think as your rivals, whom you think as your competitors, maybe there's going to be a different perspective about whom you're interacting with. And Consequently, why you interact with them and how you interact with them may take a subtle, significant change. So I invite you to just um, inquire, even if it's casually, even if it's only to know where your family comes from, where does the genes you have, whom you, whom you, you may be looking at, you know, passing on to future generations, where do they come from? Yeah. Um, 
I invite you to discover the branch or the tree of life that you come from and to discover thereby the tree of life itself that we are each a part of as living beings at least. Happy curiosities, happy coming together, happy coming to know who you are, where you come from and thereby from that knowledge, from the light of what could become possible, who you may be and who you could become and what you could contribute thereby.